Okay, so let's label some things and then move on. So the way I label things is to um, use the text tool. So at the top of the screen on the annotate tab, uh, you've got a text tool. Click on that. And on the text formatting pane of that ribbon, you've got several options. I like to use the bottom left one there where you've got two segments. So you point at something and then tell it what it is. Right? So click on that. And I'm going to point at the shingles first. So point at the shingles, click once there. Now my next click is where my elbow is. Then my uh, third click is where my text will start. So asphalt shingles. Oops, let's spell it right. L E S. And then don't hit a return, but click someplace, and it'll hold still. Now, if I go outside of, let's say I'm going to point at the plywood here. Uh, notice it gives me an alignment there, little blue dash lines. But if I go way out here and say it gives me an error and tells me that I can't see what I just did and a lot of people will keep making uh, those annotations and in reality let me turn off my crop region in reality it's there it's just that it was it, the start of the text was outside of the crop region so let me um, click escape a couple of times select that and I can actually just pull that oops don't want to do that pull this back in and then turn my crop region back off oops still not there try that again oh because of this box there we go try that <sighs> made it so um, that might happen to you as well so just be careful with that so that's how I annotate things, and you've got a PDF in Angel that will show you what everything is supposed to be called. And so hopefully that will get you through your wall section. We'll talk about it more on Monday when we have class again. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Work hard.